Tornado here. And right here, diving down a hole! Woohoo! And we're back. A Nocturne Tale. So, me and Ray were in an interesting conversation, and I wanted to bring up some stuff, but I figured, you know what, let's save this for the channel. So, one of the things that uh, we've been doing is that we have been playing the brand new mobile game, Fate Grand Order. And we were just discussing the plot a little bit. Open plot regard. at the very least. Huh? I guess that's standard, or that's standard if everybody would see that by now. Ah, oh, fuck! I should have punched, but I decided not to. Standard? Well, I was saying, like, because most uh, people would have probably gotten through chapter one. There's probably more story cutscenes if I actually play the next oh, chapter. Oh, right. well, we're only talking about the yeah, prologue. Yeah. Like, literally, the stuff that you do before the intro even plays proper. We were questioning the establishing point of this story. <laughs> like, uh, I literally rolled my eyes. When I was like, wait, <laughs> no, no, it literally, uh, it took me about three days. Ooh, I got a turquoise from that. That oh. was not a healing item. Neat. Yeah. Unless it is, but in you. It, was like, it took me three days before, like, I actually got through the entire prologue. Oh, okay. Because, you know, I'm busy with stuff. I have to budget my time. Uh, roughly the same for me. And so, like, once I finally got through everything, and I was like, wait, is this seriously about to play an, uh, am uh, an anime intro for like oh now the game is starting yet yes yes it did play an anime intro i was like now the game like this is where the true grand order starts no as i was like oh oh i just got through the prologue <laughs> okay so one of the things that uh we were discussing was that there's a plot point that just kind of pisses me off in the game so in this game, there's this character who I seem to have a crush for of her, like, you know, just how much I like her. I feel so bad for her because of how pathetic her life was Then I, the anime even told us. Oh, like, uh, the like... anime had that, but I don't think it, like, uh, even gave her, like, that much time to say all of her lines. Yeah. Uh, but, like, uh, I feel like this game gave you a chance to, like, uh, interact with her a bit more and stuff like that. And it's like, it always kind of amused me how everyone kept on saying that uh, she was evil. That was weird. I feel like that like, may have been a translation error. I was like, like, that seems not right. I feel like I understood what they were going for. Okay, so like in the game, uh, you're this dude and uh, you're like a lowest of the low training. Movie, and yet, uh, you know, uh, rock buys, all the experienced people die. And so, like, you must go on the grand adventure to save history. And along the way, the director of the place uh, just kind of gets uh, dragged along, too. And the entire time, uh, they try to present her as, like, this bossy bitch that is like, oh, she'll be my tools to further my ends. But it's, uh, what's the word? It's, uh... It's cute in the sense of how she tries to be like, you know, the bossy bitch in the way that it's cute how a little puppy is constantly yapping like, you know, at you like it's this big tough dog that's barking to like, uh, you know, scare intruders off. Right, it's like, you know, that's how it came off to me. Yeah. Right. So, uh, as you go uh, through the game, you discover that like, uh, she's dead. And it's like, uh, oh, okay, then how have we been interacting this entire time? It's just the way that, uh, that your uh, transport system works because you travel through time. And like uh, her circumstances were special enough to allow her to transport through time where she wasn't to before. But uh, at the end of the prologue, like the big bad reveals himself. Wow. <laughs> Not like I need that door anymore, but I'm still gonna use it right now. I don't need to hold off anyway on any of that. That was the nicest thing she could have ever given me. Yeah. Just fucking incense. That's that's great. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, there goes me wanting to get that level just because I wasn't gonna go back for that door, but now I kind of want to. But I won't waste anybody's time with that. Yeah, go ahead. You know, we're talking about Grand Order stuff. Okay, I guess so. There's a big <laughs> doodly do coming up in a minute. Yeah. Right, and so, uh, like, you know, Big Bad Dude shows up, and he kills her, in one of the most horrible ways possible, by essentially, like, throwing her into a black hole. Or the sun, which is like a black hole, apparently, or something. I, I, they couldn't make up their mind. Uh, one, the, the guy couldn't make up his mind one way or the other. I, I question yeah. why, they, why they built that in the first place. 
It's like, isn't it, they just have a black hole sitting around here? Yes, but it's the only way to accurately represent the soul of the world, which right. is what it is. Okay. A representation of the soul of the world. All right, okay, Which uh, shows you a glimpse into its future. So time anomaly stuff is going down, and you know what they say about black holes? All kinds of crazy time anomaly voodoo going on there. But, uh, yeah, so, like, he kills her. And then, like, uh, you uh, go back to your home base and stuff like that. And uh, one of the things that always got to me, wait a second, our main thing is time travel. And, like, the reason that, like, uh, paradoxes and stuff aren't going down is because we're going to, like, self-contained time anomalies to where it doesn't matter what goes down in these areas. We're supposed to get rid of these time bubbles one way or another, and time will just fix itself. The dude who's telling you straight up says, it doesn't matter if you save a person or two, like, time will still go down the way it's supposed to. Which just makes me wonder, why the hell aren't we saving our beautiful director, Chan? I question if that's true, then why isn't time fixing itself so then the other shit isn't happening that's bad? Oh, that's because several time bubbles have been, like, established all at once throughout history. This, these rooms have been concerning me, by the way. The ones with the treasure chests I can't touch. Really? Yes. There's a room with a treasure chest? This one. I haven't noticed any way to get in there. There's no other doors that I've seen anywhere. Okay, then, um... I, I've been going through every door that I can see in the map. But have you been going to every end of a hallway? Yes. Well, like time to go through to one door that you couldn't go through before. Oh, all right, if that magic's up something. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yes. Your luck is worthy of praise. Yep, I was one point off. <laughs> so? So check your map. Oh, I didn't think he was going to warp me somewhere else. That's not what I thought this was. All about that look and what have you. Well, I'm really glad I got it now and that you told me to do this thing. I still feel like there was another room that had those time-based treasure chests that I couldn't... I'm sorry, moon-based. <laughs> that I couldn't open. Oh, great. You're not going to want 17 luck, are you? <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. But yeah, that's why time anomalies are going down and why human history has just collapse at the point that it did. It's just too it's many. because, like, yeah, too many time bubbles all at once. Ah, great, I do Since... need 17. Yeah, okay. Fucking hell. This is a bitch and a half. Wow. Now I'm on the other side of the door he might have taken me to. No, he's gonna take me to the other side where there's nothing on the map. Mm. Ah, fucking shite. Now, this is now, I, now I just want to fucking reload and go back and grind those freaking Titanias. <laughs> well, uh, we but... can do that, like, uh, after like, uh, we... You know, continue on. Like, I'll just like you know make a note and like uh, the notes uh, the, like you know the need last luck door. That sound good enough? Uh, yeah, I hope it's the last luck door. <laughs> door. But yeah, it's just like you know I really liked her as a character. And it's like, I liked how, like, uh, whenever, like, uh, they, you know, they said, oh, the director is evil and stuff like that yeah. multiple times, it just kind of made me uh, come to the realization, oh, oh, okay, I see what the situation is here. I don't think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> and I have been proven correct on this before when it comes to, like, the Fate series. Because, um... You know how the, the Fate series uses, like, the alignment system? No, oh, she's one of those people. <laughs> right. Like, uh, evil... Why the fuck would they know that, though? Unless well, they did, like, an alignment check somehow. Well, they kind of do. Like, don't you remember how when you first start out the game, it says, like, reading biometrics. Oh. Bioconfirm. Lawful neutral. Oh, okay. So, yeah, our character is just lawful neutral no matter what. Okay, I didn't, I didn't catch and, that. And, what the heck are you doing? I was looking at the map because I was like, what do I do now? <laughs> well, now you go and you confront Dante. Okay, I'm surprised you actually are confirming, yes, that is this guy I'm scared of down there. Well, this is come the on, you have a Jack Frost saying, like, hee ho, there's a guy with guns and swords. I don't know, maybe he just was making up stuff and there's some other guy that just happens to look like Dante. Fuck, I can't do this doorway. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me to go do it right now? Oh, what's the fastest I thought story? you were going to go, uh, Dante, like, but apparently you decided you, not to, Dante. You told me to meander like, around a bit. You didn't use those exact words. I'm just flaunting my dictionary knowledge slightly, which is not very good, actually. But, yeah, when it comes to the Fate series and when it comes to using words like um, uh, uh, lawful, uh, chaotic, uh, good, evil, and all that kind of stuff, like, you're only evil if you consider yourself evil. 
But if you do evil, but you consider yourself doing good, regardless of what evil action you do, then you're counted as being good. But the real question is, does she know that she has an evil alignment? Like, does she herself know? I believe that it's because she proclaims herself to be evil. Oh. Like, remember how she tries to present herself as like this cold-hearted CEO bitch yes. that only wants to use people? Well, you know, most would take that to be evil, and she's purposely trying to present herself as such. So, you know, according to the laws of uh, fate, she sh would be classified as evil. But, uh, you know, like, uh, I always, uh... Well, to me, evil, like in the uh, Fate series, has always been evil in the selfish sense. Mm -hmm. And that they always do what they want to do. And I rather like how, like, whenever you point out, it's like, oh, you're just worried about me and want to keep me safe, huh, director? And her immediate response is, like, uh, stopping herself from calling you a baka while immediately going into, like, of course I want to keep you safe. You're like our last line of defense here and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> just like, you know, straight up, you know, saying the situation and stuff. So, uh, quick question. Uh -huh. It's flickering wildly. What happens if I take a step forward? Oh, <laughs> you just need to go down the stairs. Alrighty, don't change moon. Don't Wait a second. change moon. Oh, I didn't save, but there's not that much progress lost. Okay, well, uh, when you get the chance, bring up your menu uh, and uh, put a Rahabaki in your team. Oh, okay. Oh boy, he's back. <laughs> hey kid, I had a feeling that I'd see you again. And I was right, looks like I hit the jackpot. Boy, he's modeled really well in here. Not to not to push the joke even further, but he looks better than he does in MVCI. <laughs> and this is a really fucking old game by this point. <laughs> uh, I always did love this uh, rendition of Dante. It is Devil May Cry 1. I'm glad they used that in that no, one. No, this is Devil May Cry 2, Dante. Fucking damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm never right! <laughs> Anywho, I'm not here to explain all the details, but I, I bet you've already got some idea. That old geezer intends for the fiends to kill each other off. Why? Who knows? But you're not dumb enough to play in his hand, are you? Then get out of here and don't look back. That's your only option. Alright, kid? No way, right? Because I want to fight him. Well, it's up to how you want to uh, deal with this. Well, I don't want to back down from this dungeon. It sounds like he's telling me I want to back down. <laughs> so, no way! <sighs> You're asking for it, kid. You're asking for it. Okay, take one step beyond this point and... Bang! Got it? Playtime's over. Now... Let's rock! Well, I didn't take a step yet, so... Dante exited through the door. Oh, okay. I thought we was about to start something. <laughs> Alright, so... Is this supposed to be a weird a weird thing of... The, uh, just gonna save me in the field somehow, or...? It's a pretty... Really asinine gamer tag. You're gonna want some people that are highly resistant to physical. So, Rahabaki should be in your team. And you should be ready for uh, the other two to probably die, most likely. I see. So You'll see what I mean. It's pretty much unavoidable. First question is, should I have a certain Magatama? Uh, one that reduces uh, physical damage would be pretty good. Good. Should I? Does, he doesn't have elements, right? I'm uh, pretty sure I saw skill is Yes, thunder. Okay, that's good. We're, we're, we're safe then. This isn't weak against the, that. So, yeah, okay. In Murakumo, goody. Okay, so uh, here we go. Huh, maybe you want one that has even bigger resistance? Uh, let's see what you mean. Cause like, uh, I'm thinking Gaia, like uh, near the end. That gives you the best in terms of that. Resist physical weak to force expel and death. Well, hey, he doesn't have any of that. Okay, so when you meant like resist physical better, what do you mean? What's different? Well, you see how those only give you like plus four points in strength so, and vitality? So just basically more health. More health and like uh, more strength to like just end things quicker. To punch you with. <laughs> well, it gives okay. me 564. I keep, I guess I keep forgetting. I well, I don't know. Whatever. I don't care anymore. So as soon as I open this door, <coughs> I've stepped beyond the points. It seems as if someone is watching you. Don't disappoint me. Okay. So uh, you know, uh, bring up your menu. Map, not the map. I don't know works. So, the way that this works is that Dante is going to chase you, get into a fight with you, 
and then you have to survive like a few turns with him. Jeez. Me, I ran straight at him. It was like, oh no, I'm ending this here and now, mofo. Hey, he's unkillable, isn't he? Uh, you can't damage him quick enough because he will run away. <laughs> And the thing is, though, no matter what, if he catches you, he'll warp you directly to the beginning. Fuck. And the thing is, he loves to pull out Stinger on you multiple times when he does catches you, which is a hard healing, hard hitting move in of itself, but it has a high chance to insta kill whatever it is. So he'll like catch you, Stinger one of your monsters, and then run away, forcing you back to the beginning. Slowly whittling away your team every time he catches you. How the fuck do you get out of here? It sounds like he just guaranteed catches you. No, you have to run around and avoid him. Oh god. So uh, hopefully you can fill in the map enough to get an idea of like the layout so you can avoid him. And then uh, yeah, proceed through the area while having to deal with his shenanigans. Ah, fuck you! Oh gonna... yeah, <laughs> like he will shoot you from afar with his guns to build a down cap. And be careful because he will turn around. I to... don't tell, but I took that way because it was the safest thing I saw. Yes. Oh jeez. The game's no fun if you don't know the rules. So here's the deal: to get past me, you'll need to turn on all the switches first. All right, I'm gonna count to three. That's how long you've got to come up with a plan. Fuck. Okay. Duh. Uh, let me see the map. Uh, uh, okay. I know what to do because, like, I've been through the map. Before. Yeah, I hope okay. so. Go straight forward. Uh, run past your first right and take the second one. Wait, so this first right here, the first right after this, because there's a path right next to me. Uh, pass your first right, uh, take the second one. So this one to my right is my first. Yes. Okay, just one to me. Get out of the map! I will wait Ah, one. Two, three. Oh, you're still there, old fuck. I'm gonna have to kill you now. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Now, uh, go. Okay, pause. Uh, because map. pause. Oh pause. fuck. Oh. I had to get over there. All oh, right, right. Like, uh, he will like uh, warp in and stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, I'm trying to think. How would you get through this? Okay. I know what you're gonna do. On pause. Let him get close to you and immediately turn around and run away through the exit. Really? Yep. <laughs> Is it, okay. Move it, move it. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to start shooting. He took okay. a while. Now, run to your right. Uh, okay. Okay. Now then, just uh, turn around. This way? Yeah, it's, uh, go, go towards the portal to your right. Okay. But turn around to where like, you're looking for <laughs> both. Gosh. Where is he? Oh, fuck, he's that way. Okay. Uh, wait for him. Let him get closer. And... Damn it! Okay. Oh, it's ready to go in yet. Yeah. That's fine. Now run straight forward. Make a right. This way right? Right. Okay. And then make a left. Alright. This is fucking tense as shit. Okay. Now go into the door on your left. Oh, this one? Yes. Okay. Why didn't I do it before? Run up. Activate the key. There's a switch with the activate. Yes. Run out. Oh, okay. And when you run out, immediately make a right. This is taking way too long. That's <laughs> just our turn on this key. Don't open the door! Don't come in after me! There's no room in here. Ah, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Oh, uh... shit, where am I now? <laughs> this is different! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I went to the opposite side of the room. I didn't think of that. I didn't think that was happening. Uh, oh, right, I guess I forgot to point that out. Oh, well, this isn't all that fun of a thing, anyways. So, uh, yeah, go to your right and wait to near the black portal and wait for Dante to get close. Oh, okay. Yep, you're basically luring him to this point so that you have enough time to uh, get to the... Uh... I like how I took the long way around. So how close does he need to get before I just kind of die? Eh, I'd say let him get to where he's like about to that hallway entrance. Stop shooting! Okay, there we go. That's good enough. <laughs> okay, so Jesus. run, make a right, then make a left, then uh, enter... Uh, yeah. I like this custom music they made for him, unless it's actually from Devil May Cry 1. Just make it sure. Okay. I think it may be from Devil May Cry 2, or it's custom music. I mean, if it's custom music, then like, they did good. I don't remember what Devil May Cry music sounds like from 2, so... So how many more switches, or is that actually it? That's it. Okay, oh, okay. Now, run out, make a right, don't immediately exit through the door. Wait to see if you get shot at first. Wait, so exit this overall room, and then don't move? Yeah, exit. And then, like, make a right to the door, but don't exit immediately. Okay, turn around. So, 
here is where this is. No, 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 don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Don't sorry, do that. sorry. Okay. Let me, uh, okay, my health is okay, I guess, as long as I don't get caught. Oh, okay, bring up your map. Oh, I guess the gunshots just stun you. Yeah, I did do damage. I'm not at max health. Mm. I'm gonna do it just in case, even though it's gonna be the same difference all over again. Okay. So, what's the map problem? I can't just go straight out because he's there. Yeah, he's actually smart, since he <laughs> knows, like, the door that opened is where you're going to want to go. Good. <laughs> so he's waiting out there right now. So I need to do the same luring trick somehow. Right. So what I'm going to say to you is you go all the way down, use the lower portal to appear in the upper right, then go down and bait him to chase you, at which point uh, you will, like, use the portal in the upper right to go back to the lower right, and then, like, at that point, he'll be in full-on chase mode. Wait for him to go down there and then just, you know, snake back through the portal. Wait, so, well, I guess that... Go through the door. I, I guess that I guess that makes sense, because if I just warp instantly, he would just be to my right. And he's not going to chase me, because why would he? Well, he doesn't chase you through the portals. Well, I'm saying, like, why would he chase me now? He's waiting at the door. Right. So, yeah, just uh, be a bit careful, because, like, he will rush you with surprising speed. Yeah. So I guess being that distance is good. Are you gonna? Oh god! It was so sudden. It scared me. I told you he would rush you. I know, but it was sudden. Okay, so then, uh, <clears throat> like, no, no, no. Uh, he doesn't take the portal. Well, I meant like I was gonna try to make sure he followed me from one pathway, but it. Yeah, there he is. Okay, there we go. That's good. You want him to get as close yeah. as possible. Yeah, I was, I was trying to do that, but he, he jumped me faster than I was expecting, so... Come on, dance, water dance! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all about having a party and shit. Wow, oh, God. now I'm just... <laughs> beat up. Yeah, I'm just imagining the updated version they have of this game yeah. where it's Rido that's doing this. <laughs> Rido chasing you, firing at you with his gun. Oh great, what a time for Rappel to wear off. Not like it works for him. There's no demons on this floor. I probably should have figured that actually. Yeah, Why don't they I? kill them all? <laughs> of course. Why did I think of that? Oh, I like it funny because in the um in the redone uh, thing with uh, where it's Rido instead of Dante, yeah. uh, uh, the he ho says, like, there's a dude that's going around capturing demons and sticking them in tubes. <laughs> so, okay, so Rido caught all the demons down here. This is crazy, man. How the fuck? I don't understand. Oh, jeez, what now? Are we okay. still chase mode? No, no, like, uh, uh, there should be uh, helpful stuff to, like, the left and right. Like, this door? I think? This is, seems bad. Oh. I don't like this situation. Oh, okay. I, ah. I, yeah, I see. Okay, explore this area for a bit. You're safe at the moment. Okay. Just don't enter any rooms. Yet. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, uh, uh, what was I saying? Uh, uh, was it about Grand Order or Dante? <laughs> Grand Order, yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, Love Marie, they straight up told me that I could, you know, we're the time traveling company fixing time logically should be able to go back and save Marie and keep her from like dying the horrible death she did unless it's like some plot point really far down the line that because she died the way that she did it actually comes back and saves humanity some way well like the, that's the only way I can excuse as to like you know why such a senseless death happened I'm kind of have expecting it to come back around towards like yes we do save her because we stop all the shit that happened which led to left which led to her dying ultimately, and let the humanity die Although, somehow. if, like, uh, you know, that happened, then why wouldn't it do, undo everything we did to stop all the bad stuff from happening? Well, I'm already wondering why Blef wouldn't already be doing something like that, since he's probably the one in <laughs> power or some shit. Oh, yeah, funny thing about... Oh, but, okay, so you're done? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, enter a room. <clears throat> okay, so, here's the thing about this. Dante is going to appear in this room and chase you. Uh, the thing about this room is there are invisible walls. Oh, God damn it. But there is a point to where you can run him in a circle and uh, be able to, like, run past him. So do, like, a quick perimeter thing around the area. See where there is and isn't invisible walls and where you can run your circle. Oh, God. That was not there. Okay, it's, it's that kind of invisible wall. Oh, jeez. This is not a good path to be stuck on. Okay, so I got about straight forward, and what about this pathway? This one seems to be clear. I can run a circle around the top right. Okay, so what you're going to do is that uh, you're going to go into that other room, the one under pathway. Not yet. Go into that room, 
open the door. When you come out, okay, you'll see top. Dante on the other side. So he's going to make a left uh, since that's the pathway to go to. You're going to want to go to the left and just kind of wait there for him. He'll run at you, at which point that you run to the right, make the circle, go around, and then exit through the door. Wait, the, the room I'm about to go into? Well, on pause. Turn around. Ah, damn it. I was supposed to hit the switch first. Will he already be there? No. Okay. Okay, so, like, uh, go forward and make a left. Okay. So, Dante is going to come down from that hallway. He is. So, uh, what you could do is that you uh, could wait for Dante to, like, walk all the way down to there and immediately make a right and then, like, circle around since that spot is uh, open. Yeah. Or you could just go a little bit further, like, ahead to the secondary part. And as soon as, like, he comes towards you, immediately circle around. Yeah, just basically running the circle around this top yeah. left pillar. Yeah, run a circle around uh, him, and then you should be able to escape. Now, the thing is, in this part, there are three switches, and if he catches you even once... It he'll... resets them? He, he will reset all three switches. Fucking hell. Most annoying game of tag ever. Jeez. They rolled hard when they made this game. <laughs> I almost can't imagine what they're gonna do for freaking five. <laughs> Cause I doubt you had to do this kind of BS in SMT four, cause it's all a weird three D dungeon where you kind of ah, oh, that's right. I forgot for some reason. Right. All right. Oh, on, well, I'm looking for an SMT five. Where the where, where the guest where, like, character now Virgil is like in there. Okay. Chase me, don't say. Oh, oh fuck! I didn't uh, think he was gonna be right there. I thought I got him. Well. Ah, well that hurt, and then he ran away. All right, then he'll just send you back to the beginning of the area. Game's not over, I reset all the switches. And Deuce he does bang. that. <laughs> okay, bang. but now you basically have the idea of like what you're supposed to do to get through this. Oh jeez, this could actually be much harder than I thought because of that BS to where I thought he was following me. <laughs> but at that rate, it seems he needs to be dangerously close to following you. For you to be able to activate the switch and get out of here safely. Does he chase you through the next rooms or does he stop chasing you once you get past this one room? He'll and stop. He, okay. Basically give you a chance to figure out your escape route uh, in the next room and then you know, just keep on doing that. I was about to say, like that would, that would be rolling the hardest with this game if they did that. <laughs> if they went that fucking far. Right. Yeah, shit. I thought the thing was right there. Now then, let's see, uh, okay, we were just uh, discussing Grand Order, Time, Anonymous, yeah. My Love for Marie, and, uh... Okay, uh, ah! I did it. And you brought up, uh, Leaf. Left. Uh, left. Left lane or luxurious flair for la la la. Yes. That guy. Left. You know what I find funny about, uh, Left? What? If I'm remembering my fate lore correctly, the reason that uh, Grand Order happens is because it's an alternate timeline in which he didn't commit suicide at a certain point. You did tell me that. Like, I knew that uh, Grand Order was because some dude, uh, you know, didn't commit suicide, which led up to the events of Grand Order, where, like, you know, magic is now a thing known to the world. Like, even the UN had, like, knows about it and sanctioned, like, your existence. Is this the same fucking room, basically? It's literally a mirror copy of the other one in terms of, like, wall layout. Well, if that is true, and, you know, the, be, do be sure to check that's true. That's the then, door out, okay. and yes, it's to the right, straight forward, and then I can walk around this big pillar. Okay. I'm very surprised. It's the exact same thing. Better simple than complicated, I guess. Just saying the same strategy. Yeah, the, like, in normal timeline, where we get Fate, Stay Night, and Tsukihime, and all that stuff, like, uh, Left committed suicide for whatever reason. But, in this alternate Grand Order timeline, uh, he didn't. And time ended because of him, or something like that. Yep. I don't know, I'm kind of wondering, like, uh, what was the divide? That went from him just taking his own life to, like, all of a sudden destroying human history. God damn it! I, I, had, I had a lot more room. <laughs> uh. Jeez. Oh, okay, yeah, she's dead. So, I, okay, I can't retreat. Does that mean your furry doesn't work either? Yeah, just attack him. Okay. Is this gonna kill me? Well, he won't counter, and you can't defend. 
That's true. And doing anything else is waste your magic. Get him! Uh, it's gonna be much harder than I thought. Oh god damn it. <laughs> uh, I was trying to figure out why, how do I revive her, but she's the reviver person, so. I, when I was going through it myself, I hugged the walls of the pillars because, like, I left no uh, room for there to be space for him to gain on me. Like, I always tried to make sure to, like, to cut those corners and stuff like that. Right, but uh, the reason that, like, we're talking about Grand Order and, like, a certain main plot point and stuff like that, other than, like, you know, my righteous fury at not being able to save Director Chan. Don't worry, I'll eventually figure out this goddamn menu and then we'll be good. <laughs> I'm having so much trouble. <laughs> right, uh... Okay. Marie Olga Animosphere. Hey, or like was it Olga Marie Animosphere? Olga Marie Animosphere. Okay. Olga Marie Animosphere. Me, I just like to call her Director Chan. <laughs> she knows how to make a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> mm. One of her, one of her more, more latent talents that most people don't know about. Not even her. <laughs> mm. Alright. Oh, and like I even thought of a way to like uh, fix like uh, a certain plot hole. And actually, I'm just kind of wondering, huh, why hasn't this been done already? Which is? So, uh, they said that, like, uh, she died when she went back in time. And that's why she was able to go back in time. Like, she's nothing more than, like, uh, a thought, familiar right now, huh? I thought she died when the bomb exploded her existence, and then her soul just didn't die because it got into the machine. Yeah, like, uh, she underwent uh, spirit uh, convergence, or, like, uh, whatever they call it, uh, to where... Uh, you know, you're uh, teleported through time and reconstructed wherever it is, but you're given like a full physical body and stuff. I'm expecting this to not work out. Okay, it almost can. If I can just keep running, the ear bullets won't slow me down yet. Okay, I'm glad I made that. I'm surprised that it actually worked the way I wanted it to, too. He hmm. just did walk to me slowly and didn't come charging. <laughs> but just like those badly designed games with Sneaky, he knows exactly where you are at any time because he has a radar. <laughs> <laughs> It was one of those games, but it's an RPG, so fuck it. <laughs> so, like, uh, they said that if, even if she, like, returned to, like, uh, present time, yeah. that she would just die because her body's already dead at the end point. Which I'm just thinking, oh, okay. So she's basically a servant right now. Which, you know, what is a servant? But uh, a spirit with a collection of particle energies that, like, a master gives energy in order for them to take physical form. Like, that's all like uh, you need to do right now. Just form a uh, servant contract with Director Chan, and like uh, you'd be able to provide her enough energy to like sustain herself. Although I do think that like uh, hmm. actually, you know what? No, that's just gonna like uh, lead up to like. Ah, uh, oh, fucking hell! It took so long following me. I thought I got him. I get the feeling that he's having much more devious AI. When there's one switch down, and about to get two. Huh. And so maybe then just wait for him to actually like turn the corner and stuff. Maybe, but it's hard to do that <laughs> without turning the camera backwards. And turn the camera backwards? That's gonna be hard for me to know where I'm going. No, I Boy, mean... he does not like her. <laughs> <laughs> there can be only one red. Boy, what a fuck this guy is. God damn it! How much time do we fucking have? It. Is actually around uh, that time. Oh god! But yeah, you, know, uh, you continue on. Uh, let me finish up like my thoughts yes. on Director Chan. And uh, well, I'm just saying that uh, you know, it would lead to some hilarious, you know, uh, rom-com situations to where you know, she's the director, she's the boss, she's the head of everybody in the like facilities, and everyone acknowledges her as such. But she's your servant and has to call you master even though you work uh, for her and stuff like that as much as she would like not that after the first meeting with her it's like you're just lazy tired get out of here well i guess in the anime that's how they presented it but that certainly isn't how it came off in like in the video game yeah because she actually did talk at you but you just weren't awake damn it 
Wow, really? Yeah, he has a very large hitbox on his attack range. Ah, okay. Hey! What? I guess it's all mighty damage. Okay, it has to be all mighty damage. It was actually, like, able to kill him. Oh, no, they're punching me. I better run away. <laughs> I see. Okay, well, one of my suggestions is that, like, uh, yeah, I'll make it as soon as you get back to the point. Should I even bother reviving them? <laughs> yeah, because otherwise he's gonna stinger you. And like, you may be able to survive that stuff with your endure, but he seems to have like uh, more than uh, one uh, revive. I mean, uh, more than uh, one action to him whenever he's uh, doing his stinger stuff. There's no point to healing them though, as long as they take the extra hit for me. Why do I keep forgetting that summon is uh, this button over here? Like, holy crap, I just can't remember. So then, my suggestion is that uh, since you seem to have trouble like timing it and stuff like that, I don't know how to juke uh, properly. Stop. Turn around. Okay. Turn. Nope. Not go back way. to in front of the door. Alrighty. Okay. So oh, I go back down. Here. Okay. Yeah. Turn uh, right. This uh, way. Okay, turn left. <laughs> this left. Okay. Okay. As soon as you see him, ah. book it to the right and then just like start going. Just start making that circle. Here's the part that always afraids me in this situation of game. How do we know he won't come from the right? He could go either way, but what stops him from doing the AI thing of the closest path that they can get? Ah, uh, okay, so then, okay, here's what we do. Go, go to the left. Yes. Okay. Like, I mean, like, like I, just I can go here. there, turn in the hallway. As soon as you see him pass the first hallway point, run down to the front of the door. And then just stand then, here? Yeah, stand here, turn around, and as soon as you see him poke out of that corner, immediately juke it to the right. Okay, because he's slow enough at the hallway that he would probably try to do that. Yeah. But at least it's a safe enough point to see him poke out. Right, and okay. then, yeah, you can, like, uh, make your way stuff, and, like, that should work. Then I can give that a try, but we'll have to see me doing some rest of it next time, I guess? Yeah, so don't... Oh, we're gonna wake me watch instead of me getting the first witch at least done? Well, uh, you know, we have been pushing it close. So anyways, uh, we'll see how your endeavors work out in the next episode. Bye.